Welcome back here with us on Overdrive. Just earlier this week, Volkswagen India announced that the very popular sedan, Virtus, would come with a manual transmission and so would the SUV, the Tiger. Now, this, of course, is a dream come true for many of the driving enthusiasts. So, we sent Bert to Kochi to get us all the details. Volkswagen is very well known for introducing several new variants of existing products in the market. They've done this over several years and they will beef up the entire portfolio with several variants, uh, performance or cosmetic for that matter. And today is no different. I'm here in Kochi attending Volkswagen's annual brand conference where they've just revealed, well, six rather variants and iterations uh, that come up in the Tigon and uh, the Virtus uh, product lines. Now, keep in mind also there's uh, added heat uh, to their sales numbers coming in from Tata Motors, from Hyundai, who also launched a lot of new products. Keep in mind, Hyundai has also come up with the Verna, so that sedan is de definitely making waves and cost causing a bit of, well, I'd say concerns for Volkswagen, which was a dominant player in the sedan segment. And now, of course, what we're seeing behind me is the Virtus with several trim levels as well as the Tigon with the several other additions to it as well. Now, principally amongst this, what is coming in is uh, the manual transmission. That's going to make a big play because there is a huge amount of demand from consumers who want the manual transmission, especially with the GT line. Now, let me tell you how this works out. Um, Volkswagen India is, of course, creating a sub-brand called the GT Edge, which falls under the GT line. So all of the GT variants will now come under the GT Edge. Uh, principally, that's so that means the 1.5 uh, engine will come now with manual transmissions at the top end and at the bottom end. In addition, they've also got two conceptual vehicles. There's the Tigon uh, Trail and, of course, we've got the Sport variant. Now, those are expected sometime after June. But in the meantime, you've got some colorways. You've got the manual transmission coming up in GT. You've got the black edition. You've got this matte edition as well. Uh, and, of course, like I said, the, one point, the manual transmission options as well. So all of this is being brought in to beef up Volkswagen's portfolio in India simply because they see the potential to grow further. Currently, the Tigon is doing about 2,500 numbers in the market with uh, the Virtus, uh, well, lying a little behind at 2,000. And Volkswagen intends to bring those numbers up, say about 2,250 to 2,300 units every month from the Virtus brand and taking the Tigon up to almost about 3,000 units per month. So it's a steep ambition, but one that definitely has, well, can, of course, be achieved. Uh, for Volkswagen and this is what their entire portfolio intends to do. Let me take you through what each of these cars has to offer. Volkswagen India will be kicking off a sub-brand called the GT Edge which will now club all of the GT and other limited edition models under the sub-brand. This is an extension of the GT badged cars whose intent is to deliver higher performance and energetic visuals to enthusiastic customers. There has been significant demand for a manual transmission variant clubbed with the 1.5 litre Turbo Virtus. Volkswagen India has finally made this possible with a 6 speed manual transmission in the top spec performance line trim dubbed as the GT Plus Manual. GT logos and blacked out alloys further enhance the appeal for enthusiasts demanding for this particular spec. The Tycoon 2 gets an upgrade with a 1.5 litre TSI DSG in GT trim, while also adding the manual transmission option through the new GT Plus trim. Prior to this, the Tygoon did have a manual transmission option, but only in a lower end trim. The Tygoon range now gets more volume with the addition of the manual transmission at the top end. Volkswagen is also well known for adding several cosmetic trim options to their range of cars over a period of time, and both the Tygoon and Virtus get the same treatment. There is a GT DSG Sport which is purely cosmetic with graphic decals and stickers adorning the body panels. This will be priced as an entry level GT model making the GT cars more accessible to a wider audience. A Tygon trail concept has also been revealed which in addition to graphic decals on the bodywork also comes with a roof rail and blacked out alloy wheels. Expect these cars to go on sale after June 2023. And finally, Volkswagen has added a few new color options to the Tygon and Virtus range. The Tygon GT Plus trim gets a matte grey shade specifically with the red accents subtly spread across the door panels, brake calipers and the front bumpers giving it an impressive stance. Volkswagen has also added a deep pearl black shade to both the Tygon and Virtus range. 
And finally, there is a new Lava Blue paint scheme available for all Virtus models. Volkswagen is not yet done and expect several more additions in the near future. Current, you know, the range both the Tiguan and uh, the Virtus for that matter. Do you think this is a complete, uh, you know, portfolio for you right now? Is there still space, you know, to occupy a few more price points? Always, there, of course, there is always space. You know, a lot of combinations, a lot of uh, variations are possible. You could think of bringing an automatic transmission at lower price points. You could even think of bringing a DSG uh, at lower price points in the Virtus. So, a lot of possibilities available with the kind of combinations that we have. And we have to continuously work on it and, uh, you know, look at what the market uh, potential is, what our customers are looking for in different parts of the country uh, and of course the market will also evolve as you go ahead. So definitely you have to keep on taking this feedback, keep on analyzing the market and start planning. Uh, and one last question Ashish, uh, you know with the, these new additions, uh, with all of these trims coming in, uh, how is this going to affect uh, you know waiting periods especially for consumers, what they would like to know is you know whether this increases it or they still streamline enough to make sure deliveries come on time. Yeah, I think uh, overall if you look at our delivery timelines, most of our variants uh, have an availability timeline of two to three weeks, except for a few you know uh, variants like the GT Plus, DSG or the Virtus, which also has improved to four to six to six to eight weeks now and it will become even better. So on the whole, our portfolio, current portfolio is available not at not more than a waiting period of two or three uh, weeks. So that's, that's pretty, pretty comfortable. Our supply situation is definitely better than last year. But yes, uh, for the exclusive uh, GT Edge collection, this will be specific colors and variants which will be made, uh, combinations which will be made built to order. So we will communicate the uh, waiting time to the customers from order to delivery. With that, it's a wrap on this week's edition of Overdrive. But remember, you can stay in touch with the team through Facebook, Twitter as well as YouTube. And you can follow our latest updates on Instagram. We'll see you next week. Until then, goodbye and many thanks for watching.